Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint layered flowers. So let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, I have my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors, I have my Princeton snap brush, this one is a size 12, um, my water, and I also have a heat tool that I'm going to be using. Um, layered flowers either take a lot of patience or a heat tool because you're going to need to allow drying time to get layers. Okay, so to start what we're going to be doing is creating the flowers first layer. Okay, so I'm going to be picking some pretty spring bright colors to do this. I'm going to take a light wash of this purple right here and I'm going to do a petal like that. I'm going to do another petal here like that and then I'm just going to go back in I'm just gonna tap the bottom, maybe do a little bit of lines just to have it bleed a bit. Okay. Then this is gonna be one flower and then I'm gonna do another layer in a minute, but I'm gonna create a couple flowers just to show you. Um, I'll create a side view. So maybe I'll take this purple again and I'm gonna create one petal going this way. Bit of darker paint and go back in okay so if you don't have a heat tool you're gonna let it dry on its own but because I have my heat tool and I want to speed this up to show you I'm gonna use mine right now okay once it is dry you're gonna do your second layer so you can either do the same color or you can even change it up and do a different color for this open face one, I'm gonna do the same color, but I'm gonna layer over top. Now, because of this is dry and I'm doing a wet one on top, you'll see the layer underneath. And it kind of almost looks like it's, the flower petals are transparent, which I really like. I'm gonna do another one over here, overlapping this petal. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my dark color and touch the bottom. Like that and then for this one I'm going to do a blue petal maybe a darker blue okay and I'm just going to have it come this way and tap the bottom there and then you're gonna dry it for your next layer Okay, oops, sorry. Just got caught on something. Okay, and now we're ready for our next layer. And you kind of just keep doing this. So the, the key to this is just making sure that your first layer is completely dry before you do your next layer. Maybe I'll do a pink one. Like that, and dry it. And for this purple flower, I'm just going to do one more layer. If 
but really you could stop or keep going however you like. It's totally up to you. And what I actually might do is just to make it a little interesting. I'm wetting the middle and I'm just going to take some bright orange and I'm just going to let it bleed into that. And then with this one, I think maybe I'll do one more little petal as well. That. And because this is a side view, I'm going to have the stem of the flower coming up the side here, but I'm gently going to touch that wet part where I just did it. So the part of the stem bleeds into the side of this flower. I'm just going to do a couple leaves like that. And this one, I'm going to have the stem coming behind. And if you really wanted to, you could even do the same thing with your leaves. So I'm going to dry those quickly and just show you what I mean. So you can do the same thing you did previously. Maybe even add a bit of a different color. Go over your stem again. and You can just do another layer of leaves if you like. And then for the middle of this flower, I'm just going to take some indigo, a little circle in the middle, some dots around, and there you go. There are some layered flowers. Now you can do this with a variety of different colors. You can mix it up, do some bright pink ones. I think I had another one here somewhere. <laughs> Make them even brighter if you like but the trick is to just be patient and let it fully dry or use a heat tool and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for more have a great day guys bye